evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us tonight. It's one of the newest tools used in law enforcement, officers wearing body cams. But currently the cameras are being used by the Pasco County Sheriff's Office and the Tampa Police Department. The Clearwater Police Department is the latest agency to contemplate using the technology. Chip Osowski joins us now live from Clearwater. And Chip, have they made a decision yet? No decision made yet, Stacy. but four officers in the department have been outfitted with these body cameras, and they could be patrolling any streets in the city of Clearwater. I'm looking for somebody to stop at or before the sign. This guy went right through. Officer Craig Murray is one of those officers. During this traffic stop, he showed me how the body camera works, and this is the actual video. Ma'am, you know why I stopped you today? No. Okay. You travel this roadway often? Yes. Okay. Have you noticed the speed bump? Yes. Okay. They also installed a stop sign back there which is brand new. Officer Murray tells me because the stop sign is new, the goal of this stop was to educate. Those signs, like I said, they've only been there for about 24 hours, but they are going to stay. So keep that in mind and keep a lookout because they've been changing some other things in the neighborhood as well. Latasha Simmons is the driver who was stopped and likes the idea of the body cameras. They have them in the cars, and it's, I think it's better if they have them on their body so they can actually see when they interact in with people. Police Chief Daniel Slaughter believes the cameras will reveal positive and negative interactions with the public. I think if people saw cameras from Clearwater Police Department, um, you're going to see the amount of abuse that officers take on a regular occasion, but at the same time you'd also see the positive interactions they have with the tourists and the public. From an officer's perspective, Murray believes the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to cams. The only reason why an officer should fear wearing a camera or being on camera is that they're doing something wrong and they know it. So what's the game plan now? The test is expected to last a month after that period of time. A patrol supervisor will submit a report to the chief and that should happen by the end of this year. Josh? Would they make a decision then at that point, Chip? Well, that is certainly a possibility, Josh. Uh, if a decision is made, then the issue becomes funding, how to pay for the cameras, and even more than that, how to, how to pay for the data storage equipment. So that is a whole other issue. But yes, we could see a decision by the beginning of next year. Got to believe that's pretty expensive, too. Chip Wasowski, live for us. Thanks, Chip.